Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Tuesday, April 6th, 2021. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. And this is a yarny tag video. So um, for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. Hi. I also like yarn, which this video is about, and I like to make stitch markers. Um, I live in the Chicago area with my daughter. Her nickname is Carrots, and we have a lot of animals, so we call it the zoo here. <laughs> so anyway, I was tagged in a video done by the um, ever popular Crystal at Bag o Day Crochet. Hi, Crystal. And she did a video, I think last Friday, and it was called 10 Yarn Questions, Tag Your It. And she tagged me in it, so I figured I'd better come on here and do this video <laughs> and answer these questions. Um, so I'm going to encourage you all to answer all the questions as well. I'm gonna list them in the description box. If you want to list your answers in the comment section, that would be really cool because then everyone could see them. You can also go to my Facebook group, which is uh, linked down below and answer them there. Just make a post and say, here are the 10 yarny questions. So are you guys ready? Let's get started. Okay, so I actually have uh, the questions on my iPad here. I'm probably gonna need my glasses. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so. Uh, number one, what is your favorite color of yarn? I'm going to have to say purple. <laughs> um, yeah, my favorite color is purple. Of yarn, of cars, of clothes, even though I'm not wearing purple, but pretty much purple anything uh, would be fine with me. Okay, so let's go to number two. Number two, what is your favorite weight of yarn? Um, I'm going to have to say it's probably a number four just because it's really versatile. You could do amigurumi, you can make shawls, you can make blankets. Uh, you can pretty much do anything with a number four. I mean, you can pretty much do anything with like a number three and a number five too, but uh, I like four. It's a nice uh, middle of the road yarn. All right. The next question, number three is what is your favorite style of yarn? And I think like Crystal's favorite style is called roving style. And I don't really have a favorite style. I will work with anything. It doesn't matter if it's chain spun, roving, um, regular plied yarn. I'm fine with whatever, um, if it's purple. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, uh, number four, what is your favorite fiber of yarn? So I'm not a fan of wool, and I don't know if it's because it's itchy for me. Um, I do like how it feels. Um, I like cotton, some of it, because it's some of it is soft. Like I'm not a big fan of like the kitchen cotton. Um, I don't know, like I would just say acrylic because it's really versatile. You can wash it, you can dry it. Uh, so I would say, I don't really have a favorite fiber because acrylic, I don't know if you don't consider acrylic a fiber. Maybe you do. So number five is what is your favorite brand that you can get easily within your country? So I live in the US and I'm gonna say that my favorite brand of yarn to get in this country would be Karen Cakes or Karen would be the brand. Um, so, um, I like other ones too. I like Lion Brand. I like Premier, but I think my favorite would have to be Karen. The Karen Cakes, like all the different Karen Cakes, Karen One Pounders, Karen Simply Soft, uh, anything Karen. I just love it. C-A-R-O-N. Okay. Um, what is your favorite brand that isn't easy to get within your country? And I don't really have a favorite brand. I like some of the Hobie yarns, but we'll talk about that, I think, in the next question. But those you can always order online, so I don't know, it's not really that hard. Okay, number seven, uh, so that was number six. Number seven is, what is your favorite yarn store online and your favorite brick and mortar? Okay, so that's a two-part question. So I can't I can't just say one. So <laughs> my favorite brick and mortar, I guess would I would have to say Michaels, and that's just because they are exclusively the carriers of Karen Cakes. So I would have to say that's my number one favorite. However, Joanne Fabrics has their own store brand called Big Twist, and I really, really like their acrylic like like red heart type style yarn there. It's called, I think it's just called Big Twist. Um, 
favorite online store would probably have to be Hirschner's. And the reason I say Hirschner's is because they carry every brand, like they carry Premier, Lion Brand, uh, Karen, they carry like everything there. So I really, really like it. Um, so I have some of my favorite yarns here just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is a Karen cake and of course it's purple. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite, I've, I'm hoarding this one, it's called Bumbleberry. And this is the original Karen cakes. And yes, it's 20% wool and 80% acrylic. And it's like my favorite thing of all times. I'm not gonna tell you how much of not only this color, but other colors I have hoarded. <laughs> Um, so this is one of my favorite yarns of like all time. So Karen Cakes. Some of my other favorite yarns are the Premier Anti-Pilling DK Colors. And this is not one of my favorite colors, but um, it is one of my favorite yarns. It feels so soft. I make lots of shawls with these. It's just gorgeous. Um, and that's Premier Anti-Pilling DK Colors. Now, two of the other yarns that I want to show you that I've just recently gotten, but I haven't used them yet, but I'm just in love with them, <clears throat> is this. It's called Stylecraft Cabaret Double Knitting. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little glitter in there. And of course, this is purple. <laughs> um, the color is called Purple Haze. And I'm not sure where I got this, either um, Wool Warehouse, maybe? I'm not sure. But I just wanted to show you guys, this is one of my favorites. And then this is also one of my favorites. And I don't know that I'll ever use it because it's just so pretty. This is called Carnival. And this is 100% acrylic. And I don't care if you don't like purple, you have to like this. Like there's no way you can't not like that. OMG. Shut the front door. Like seriously. I don't know if I'll ever use it. It's just so pretty. Okay, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> off the beaten path there. Um, number eight, do you keep scrap yarn? And if so, what do you do with it? So I do keep all my scrap yarns. Lately, I have been using them for lovies. Uh, I will link the tutorial from Z to uh, show you, or so she can explain to you how to make a lovey. Actually, I'll insert a picture here of a lovey that I just completed. And the other thing that I do with my scrap yarns is I make scrap blankets. Um, so I have several scrap blankets, but I'm going to show you my favorite one. It's actually my daughter's favorite blanket. Um, it is uh, like thick and um, squishy and it's awesome. And I don't remember what any of the projects were that I used uh, <laughs> this yarn for, but that's okay. So all it is is two strands of yarn held together and this is what it looks like it was random colors everything was completely random uh, obviously that blue doesn't look like it was a scrap ball huh <laughs> uh, so it's totally random and it's super easy i don't remember what hook i used um probably uh, an eight or a nine millimeter because i double stranded uh four weight yarns together two two yarn two strands together and it's just half double crochet back and forth. So it's really thick and squishy. And this is probably the blanket that gets fought over the most in my house. So I would say I use my scraps for scrap blankets and they always turn out so, so nice. Okay, number nine, what is your favorite thing to crochet or knit? Okay, so I don't knit, but I do crochet. And the lovies that you saw are one of my favorite things. And then I also do this thing well, I make a lot of these. It's called the Divine Hat. <laughs> so this is one that I just finished and I'm in the process of making a scarf to go with it, but I'm not gonna be making a Divine Scarf. I'm gonna be making a regular scarf. And the reason I am making this set, this is with Scarfy, by the way. Uh, the reason I'm making this set is because I made another purple set. It was a Divine Hat and a Divine Scarf. And my niece, who also loves purple, she stole it from me. So, uh, Tori, I hope you're enjoying it. Although now it's warmer, so we don't need it. So I'll insert a picture of that set so you can see what that one looked like. Okay, the other favorite thing that I like, I know I'm like, I'm not 
playing by the rules, am I? Um, the other favorite thing that I really like to crochet, I really like to crochet blankets, but I like to also make shawls. And there's a specific shawl that I like to make, and it's called the Dragon Belly Shawl. So this is one that I haven't shown yet on a video, so you guys are getting a sneak peek. And um, I like to use the number one weights or number two weights. They're usually like, uh, it's like a twister cake kind of. And it's called the Dragon Belly Shawl and it is written a pattern is, I think it's a free pattern. It's by uh, Miho Crochet, Joanna Lindahl. So that's what it looks like. It's super easy. I just love the way it feels. I love the way it turns out. So this is the other thing that I really, really like to crochet. Okay, number 10. <clears throat> if you could crochet one last thing for the rest of your life, what would it be and what yarn would you use? So if I could, I'm, I'm just going to translate that to mean if I could just, if there was only one project that I could crochet for the rest of my life, it would probably have to be a blanket because I love to make them and I love to gift them. And if I couldn't gift blankets to people anymore, I would probably be a really sad crocheter. <laughs> so that is it. That is the tag. Those are the 10 questions. They will be written down below. So again, if you guys want to comment, I would love to see what your answers are. Also go over to the Facebook group. And now I'm going to say tag your it to a couple of YouTubers here and see if they'll be willing to do this. So the first person I'm going to tag is Fiber Spider. Hi, Fiber Spider. We want to know the burning, the answer to these burning questions, okay? Um, I also want to tag Jennifer at Crafty Bones. I also want to tag Tammy at Twisted Stitches. I also want to tag one of my favorites. That would be Z, Zelda NRJ3. And the last person I want to tag is Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. So you five guys are officially tagged if you haven't already done the video. And you're it. So get going on answering those questions because I want to know what your answers are. So that's it, you guys. I, uh, I'm glad that Crystal tagged me. Thank you so much, Crystal. And I hope you guys have a great night. We'll talk to you later. Bye.